outstanding player over uh, many, many years here in Dubai. Gets a shot in straight away, which is uh, deflected. Yuri Krashininikov with the throw, another outstanding uh, servant for Ru Russia. And that wasn't a million miles away from uh, Nikolai Krishanov. First touch for him, the number 11. Krishanov, one of uh, twins who play uh, beach soccer. His brother Victor also has played um, for the national team this year, but not here in Dubai for this uh, Huawei Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2017. Here's Makarov. Gets the shot in. Crashing in there. And it's pushed behind by Diego Villasenor for a corner. Keep your eye out for Krashen Inikov and uh, Makarov. I mentioned in the last game that uh, Ali Karim became the first player to score in all seven editions of this tournament. The only two players who can uh, match him are on the sand now. Makarov and Krashen Inikov is one other player who scored in the first six editions. And that's Dmitry Shishin. Another Russian, but uh, he's not here because of injury. Players left out of the uh, squads, match day squads by the two coaches for this encounter. It's crashing in, Inikov uh, has a shot and scuffs it. Russia leaving out Yuri Kotov and Vladislav Beksenov. 12 players in their squad and Mexico leaving out Jose Discara, the number six, and the number eight, Luciani Garardo. Something of a revenge mission, this, for Russia. This uh, Huawei Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2017. Certainly they're determined to show their worth at uh, Beach Soccer's top table after failing to qualify for this year's FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup Finals. They lost 5-3 to Poland in a, in a qualifier in Yesolo in Northern Italy in September 2016. Oh, and somehow that <laughs> stays out. Great defending, I think, from Benjamin Moscow in the end. Number five, there he is, the big veteran, 32. Made an important contribution, but it's important for Russia as well because they want to uh, regain the title. They've won three times, and that's a good save from uh, Villa Senor. Saving at the near post. Preventing that flick header from ending up in the back of the net. Russia will have it in mind as well that uh, when they were here 12 months ago, they suffered their only shutout in the history of this tournament. They've played 30 matches here, and only once have they failed to score, and that was in the semi-final last year against uh, Brazil, when they were thumped 7-0. It really was um, revenge for Brazil. It was Russia when they won the uh, world title for the first time in Italy in uh, 2011. They beat Brazil 12-8 in the final. Brazil was schooled there. Russia was schooled 12 months ago here as the shot comes in from uh, Paparotny. Mentioned though that Mexico are here in something of a high, playing in that four team tournament in uh, Puerto Vallarta from the 20th to the 22nd of October. Beating Colombia 5-2, beating France 4-3, and the USA 5-4. All of them narrow victories, but victories nonetheless. That tournament also saw the uh, first time that the Mexican women's team played competitive matches. They played a couple of games against Spain. Another illustration of the way this sport is growing. Women's beach soccer becoming more and more prevalent. Kirill Romanov now on the ball, the captain of the Crystal Beach Soccer side from St. Petersburg that won the, uh, the Russian Cup this year. Lokomotiv Moscow are the uh, 
league champions from 2017. There's five players apiece from uh, Locomotive and Crystal in this squad. Angel Rodriguez, five goals in that tournament in uh, Puerto Vallarta earlier this month. Top scorer for Mexico. Makarov goes back to his keeper. Maxim Shushkov, very much established as the number one now in the absence of uh, Andre Butlitsky, who's uh, out with a long-term knee injury, and the prognosis for that is not good, as I understand it. Corner for Russia. Shushkov's certainly been in very good form this year, though. Oh, towards the back post, Makarov couldn't get the contact he wanted. But Krishanov could. Finishes into the roof of the net, and Russia are on the board in the Huawei Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2017. Nikolai Krishanov. In the sixth minute of the first period, Krashininikov with the corner. He was looking for Makarov at the back post. The ball was half cleared by uh, Eric Samano. But uh, only cleared as far as Krishanov, the man who scored three goals in the Euro Beach Soccer League this year, Tomsk born. And he's on the board, and so are Russia. 1 0 to the two time world champions. Russia winning the world title, not only in Italy, as I mentioned earlier in 2011, but also retaining their crown in Tahiti in 2013. Paparotny. Little flick header attempted on that occasion by uh, Alexei Pavlenko. He plays his beach soccer with the Spartak club. Yuri Kotov is not playing today, and Alexei Pavlenko, the odd men out, don't play for either Locomotive or Crystal in this squad. Pavlenko battling. Skarin, who's taken over the captain's armband from Leonov. Maria Leonov concentrating on coaching but he hasn't officially retired as I understand it from uh, from playing and I did see him uh, with the squad last night while they were training here all the squads trained on the sand here at uh, Marassi Business Bay during the course of yesterday afternoon and evening that's a free kick to Russia Boris Nikonorov will have that free kick Konorov, a locomotive player, brought down. Okay. Konorov got six goals in this tournament 12 months ago. Joint top scorer for Russia in the uh, Intercontinental Cup in 2016, along with Alexei Makarov. It's a rather weak effort from him on that occasion, though. Nicely done by uh, Makarov, just diverting the ball back to his goalkeeper. Here is Maxim Shushkov, who's had a very good uh, 2017 between the sticks for Russia. Crashing Inikov forward. Good turn by uh, Krishanov, and there's Krashin Inikov. Russia double their lead. Krishanov with the shot, it was pushed away by Villasenor. And Krashininikov with the easiest of tasks just to tap the ball into uh, an unguarded net. So Krashininikov okay. becomes the uh, second player uh, after Ali Karim, Karim to now Karim score Karim in Karim. all seven editions Karim. of the Samsung Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup Karim. as was. And now, of course, the new sponsors, Huawei. 
And pushed over the top by Shushkov. So 23 goals now for Yuri Krasininikov in the history of this tournament. That's an exceptional return from him. That's over uh, Ramon Maldondo's head. Romanov with the shot. That's off target. Fold forward. Roman Moldondo dispossessed. Shushkov got a goal this year in the Euro Beach Soccer League against Belarus in the Super Final in Italy, which uh, was won 4 1 by uh, Russia on that occasion, that particular game. Said Shushkov's had um, a jolly time in goals in 2017. He was named the top goalkeeper in the Euro Beach uh, Soccer League Super Finals. 2017 and indeed in the regular season in Moscow an illustration of why again they're pushing that shot away it's coming back to what I was saying about Krasininikov he's now got 23 goals in the tournament ahead of him in the whole history of the uh, competition Mohamed Aranzadeh the Iranian captain who we'll see up next when uh, Iran play Paraguay he's got 24 goals Dmitry Shishin 29, Bruno Xavier, we saw him get a couple today, and uh, Dejan Stankovic, he's up to uh, 37, Stankovic the Swiss bomber, Bruno Xavier 31, oh spectacularly down is Boris Nikonorov, Ramon Maldondo, not too impressed with uh, the way that uh, Boris Nikonorov went down. Nikonorov clearly in uh, a little bit of pain, but he's uh, recovered sufficiently to uh, take the free kick, which is just a couple of meters outside the Russian penalty area. So he's about ooh, 25 metres from goal, Nikonorov on the right-hand side as Russia play from left to right, gets the shot in, it's pushed away by Villasenor, but straight to Pavlenko, goodness me, that really was poor stuff from Mexico and Villasenor in particular, yes it was a low bobbling shot, but really he had to do better than he did. He's pushed it straight back into play and Pavlenko had the easiest of tasks. It may even have gone wide. He was probably right not to take the risk that it would, Villa Senor, but uh, really he should have been pushing that away from the danger area rather than uh, back into the business area that uh, saw Pavlenko had the easiest of opportunities. And it's 3-0 to Russia with just over a minute to go in this uh, first period and uh, well, Russia three times champions clearly putting their mark in the ground and saying we want to win it for a fourth time Mexico though well they just haven't woken up yet at all have they they've really not been um, much of a threat and I think Ramon Rea is going to have to get in their ears the end of this first period and uh, ask them to play with a little bit more urgency. 
no real pace in uh, Mexico's game at the moment. Match being played very much at Russia's tempo. And the Russian fans that uh, we can hear over the music making their voices heard. And rightly so. Scarred in the captain. Nikonarov with the overhead. Tremendous effort. And a good save this time by Villa Senor. That's the last action of the first period. A first period that's been dominated by the three times champions. Goals for Krishanov, Krasininikov, and Pavlenko. And Russia very much in charge. First match in Group B in this Huawei Intercontinental Cup 2017. And Russia lead. It's Russia 3, Mexico 0. Let's have a look at some highlights from the uh, first 12 minutes of action. Pretty much one-way traffic, really. Poor clearance by Eric Samano. And uh, Krishanov taking full advantage to make it 1-0. Krasininikov doubling the advantage, latching on to uh, that save from Villa Senor. Easily the busier of the two goalkeepers, uh, the Mexican stopper. And uh, that wasn't a particularly good effort, which pushed the ball straight into Pavlenko's path to make it 3-0. Uh, Could have been four there with that great overhead from Nikonarov, but uh, on that occasion, Villa Senor was uh, equal to the task. Russia three, then Mexico nil. All right, we Here we go then, period number two in match three on the opening day of the Huawei Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2017. And Mexico with it all to do, playing from left to right on your screens in the predominantly uh, green shirts, a bit of white trim. With three nil down, change of goalkeeper for Russia for the second period, in fact, change of goalkeeper for Mexico as well. Ida Patino comes in goal for the Mexicans after a period to forget for uh, Diego Villasenor and for Russia. Ivan Ostrovsky. Sorry, uh, I should say uh, Maxim Rodkovsky comes in goal for them. Late replacement for Ostrovsky. Trees here. Man on the right of screen you saw there was uh, representative of uh, the new sponsors of this tournament, Huawei. And on the left of screen, talking to him, was uh, Joanne Casco. FIFA 
vice president and the man in charge of beach soccer worldwide. Free kick then for Russia, just inside their own half. And Alexei Makarov will take it, and it's just fractionally wide. Ida Bettinia was diving. He wasn't going to take a chance that uh, it might just have sneaked inside the upright. It didn't. Abdiel Villa putting the ball forward towards uh, Ulysses Torres. He wasn't able to turn and get a shot in. There's the number nine, Torres. Got one goal in the that tournament in Mexico, the 14 tournament that took place earlier this month, which uh, Mexico won. Brave goalkeeping from uh, Ida Patino. Well, Torres has gone down off the ball there, complaining he was pushed in the face by uh, Alexei Makarov. Nothing was given. And on we go, Makarov. Pushes the ball forward towards Romanov and then gets the ball back himself. Makarov trying to pass the ball in. And the man who does pass the ball in is Nikonorov. Bit of goal hanging from him in the right place at the right time. Boris Nikonorov. It's four for Russia. Four different scorers as well. And again, a situation where the Mexican goalkeeper not able to uh, hold on to the ball. And all he's uh, managed to do on that occasion, Ida Patino, is just push it straight to Nikonorov. He's not going to miss from that sort of distance. In all fairness to Patino, you would have seen that replay from behind the goal. He would have seen that ball very late indeed. It came through uh, between a couple of Mexican players. But unfortunately, it's another goal conceded from a Mexican point of view. And for Russia, well, they've got uh, very much the wind in their sails at the moment. So is there any way that Mexico can halt this momentum that Russia have? Paparotny. Skarin takes the ball on the chest. Nice skill, quick feet from uh, Nikonorov. Goes down and a challenge from uh, Benjamin Moscow and I think he's gonna get a booking, Nikonorov. Indeed he is, booked for simulation. Well, you couldn't complain that the referee wasn't on the spot there. He was literally standing over the duel between Nikonorov and uh, Moscow. You can see actually there, Moscow gesturing that he wanted a card for Nikonorov. Well, he got his wish. Nikonorov absolutely convinced he was pushed in the back. But Nikonorov booked for simulation. First booking of this match. And Maxim Rogovsky is going to face his opposite number here, Ida Patino, and just pushes the ball forward. Ramon Maldonda wins the throw. Players are allowed to kick the ball in as well. And throw the ball in or kick it in. It's all part of uh, getting the game going as quickly as you can. But once you make a decision to do one thing or the other, you've got to stick with it. You can't uh, start off by gesturing to throw the ball in and then change your mind. And when you kick the ball in, you've got to put it down on the sand to do so. You can't kick it out of your hands. And all of it, of course, has to be done within four seconds. That's what beach soccer is all about. Action, action, action. The action very rarely stops. Great entertainment, and we've seen great entertainment today already, haven't we? 28 goals up to this point in time. Most goals in a single day, 45. We're on target to uh, get anywhere near that, I wonder. And that was the first day of the tournament 12 months ago. That's actually the most goals in any single day in this tournament. Next best was 41 on day four. 
back in 2013. That was the tournament that uh, had most goals in a single edition. That was 185 in 20 matches. Good work from Nikonarov, good tackle. Comfortable enough for Rogovsky. And one by Edgar Patinia. Bold long taken on the chest by uh, Krishanov, but he went down under challenge and then overcooked the pass to Skarin. Ortia forward towards Daniel Sanchez, but uh, he couldn't get on the end of it. And that's been the story really of uh, Mexico's match so far. Just haven't got started at all, have they? up to the halfway point of the second period and they haven't really posed any sort of threat at all to the Russian goal. It's been the odd save but also more than the odd goal for Russia. Number five for the Russians Kirill Romanov the captain of the Crystal Beach Soccer Club from St. Petersburg becomes the fifth separate scorer for the Russians and what a beautifully taken overhead it was. No chance at all there for Patino. Coming out to try and uh, smother the ball. He wasn't able to do so, neither was the defender. And uh, pleasure for Romanov. You can see he was making the run there. He was found by his teammate. And uh, the result, the ball in the back of the net. 5-0. Spiriting this from a Mexico perspective, and certainly expected them to be a little bit more uh, competitive than this, but uh, oh, they've been very frustrating so far. Makarov uh, falling over his own feet there, getting the ball trapped. Still battling for the ball though trying to come away with it still going Mexico in this year's uh, FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup finals in the Bahamas they qualified for that by coming uh, second in February's World Cup qualifier that also took place in the Bahamas they were the defending champions of that uh, CONCACAF region they lost out in the final to uh, Panama 4-2 in the uh, FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup finals themselves. They narrowly lost 3-2 to uh, Iran. That's a very creditable performance against uh, Asian powerhouse that Iran is. Makarov. Oh, it's just crept wide and only just two. And Mexico lost 5-4 to uh, Nigeria in extra time. So two very narrow losses there against two strong sides. And then having had those first two defeats, the wheels came off a little bit and they lost 8-1 to Italy in their last group game. Finishing bottom of that group, Group B, so they didn't progress to the second stage, the quarter-finals of that World Cup. As I mentioned though, it's a tough uh, situation for Mexico because futsal and indeed the 11-a-side game is uh, much more prevalent and much more popular. So uh, Ramon Rea in particular battling to get uh, the sport further recognition. That's nice. Skarin latching onto the back heel from Nikonarov. At the other end now though, Torres in the end crowded out. Russia, on the other hand, well, they've got one of the strongest domestic leagues in the world. Players from all over the world go and play there, including quite a few Brazilians. 
They're very much in a rebuilding phase though. I mentioned the outset of this particular match that they've lost a whole host of uh, senior players, either lost or decided to move on from those senior players. So uh, patience is a virtue when it comes to the Russians at the moment as the, uh, the next generation starts to come through aided by uh, several of the senior players who are still around one of them being Skarin who was fouled by uh, Benjamin Mosko so that'll be a free kick to the Russians and it's just fractionally inside the Mexican half Skarin taking over the captaincy from Ilya Leonev who's uh, not in the side at the moment Leonev, the man who captained Russia to world titles in 2011 and 2013 and all three of their beach soccer intercontinental cup titles here in Dubai as well. Skarin with the shot, pushed away by the goalkeeper and then Skarin with the follow-up, it's over the top. Taken on the chest by uh, Angel Rodriguez on the far side, Adil Villa. Rodriguez again. Seven of this Mexican squad here in Dubai, seven of the 12 players on duty, are on duty for the FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup Finals in April and May in the Bahamas. One of the players they've lost since then, Saul Aguilar, he's gone off to play uh, the 11 aside game. It's an illustration of what I was talking about. Romanov deep in his own territory on the edge of his penalty area. Just under two minutes to go in this second period. I mentioned Russia has been uh, shut out for the only time in their history in this tournament. In the semi final 12 months ago against Brazil, there have actually only ever been five shutouts in uh, 114 matches before this in seven years Russia responsible for one of those in the inaugural tournament in 2011 when they beat uh, the UAE 7-0 the other shutouts in that same edition 2011 in the semi-final Brazil beat the UAE 2-0 there were none at all in 2012 and 13 and in 2014 there were two Iran beating Morocco 5-0 and uh, Portugal beating Iran 3-0 in the third and fourth place playoff. And then, as I mentioned, we had that 7-0 shutout in 2016. And uh, are Russia going to get another shutout here? Well, they will if uh, we see more goalkeeping like that. That was a great stop from uh, Rogovsky. Really strong right hand, keeping the ball out of the Russian net. Crashing Inikov. Krishanov, shaven headed, bicycle kick. 20 seconds to go in this second period. It's a long way back from Mexico from here, you would say. Russia have looked um, very well organized this evening, very confident in what they're doing. Makarov and Krashininikov, the old firm, together. And in the end, Krashininikov can't quite find the back of the net for his second of the night. But Russia still very much in charge. And uh, you can see on the right of screen there, Ramon Rea, his expression says it all. The Mexican coach, a forlorn figure on the sidelines, as Russia have had five different scorers. Krashanov, Krashininikov, Pavlenko in the first period, then Nikonorov and Romanov in period number two. And it's Russia, the three times champions in complete charge at the moment. Russia 5, Mexico 0. Let's have a look at some highlights from the second period. Largely one-way traffic, as I mentioned uh, earlier. Nikonorov there, a simple tap-in. 
after Makarov's shot was uh, saved. And how about this run overhead from Kirill Romanov? Tremendous strike. Mexican keepers. First of all, uh, Villasenor and then Patino. Comfortably the busier of the, uh, the goalkeepers. But uh, still, an excellent save from uh, Rogowski, keeping uh, Mexico scoreless. And at the moment, Russia absolutely in charge. Russia 5, Mexico 0. Here we go then, the third and final period. And uh, Mexico have it all to do. Russia, champions in 2011, 2012 and 2015. And they are five nil up, very nearly six nil up there with uh, Maxim Shushkov back in goal for Russia in this third and final period. Shot from him deflected over the top corner for the Russians oh, and very nearly a sixth for them as well Boris Nikonorov holding his head this little flick was just wide of the target goals for uh, Krishanov that's Nikolai Krishanov Krashaninikov Pavlenko Konorov and Romanov They're the Russian scorers five separate men 29 goals so far today on the opening day of the uh, Huawei Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2017 Nikonorov with the overhead blocked by the back of uh, Angel Rodriguez the options up forward for Ramon Maldonado not a great deal it has to be said Paparotny back to his goalkeeper Shushkov Back passes allowed in beach soccer. Skarin back defending until oh, here's an opportunity and a goal. Real mix up between Skarin and Shushkov. So no shutout for Russia here. And the beneficiary of that shut of the uh, mix up is Maldonado. The man who scored 12 goals in the World Cup qualify in the Bahamas in February. The joint tournament top scorer with Marlon Meza of Belize. And uh, is it going to be the start of uh, a fight back? Still plenty of time remaining, just uh, under 10 minutes in this uh, third and final period. That's plenty of time for uh, a side to fight back. But uh, uh, Russia will be very frustrated with the, the way that goal came about. That should be a corner. Maldonado getting uh, the block in. a 
Shininikov with the corner towards the back post. Shanov uh, can't keep that in play, or can he? Well, he wins the throw. Flashing in a cough, battling for the overhead. Got it, but uh, didn't get it on target. One more Group B match to come this evening. Iran against Paraguay. Iran, the 2013 champions. Angle Rodriguez defeated by Krashininikov. His attempted pass is then cut out by uh, Daniel Sanchez. Romanov with the overhead that's off target. Blocked by Krashen Inikov. It'll be a free kick to uh, Russia. Well, I think that could be trouble as well for uh, Maldonado. Kicking the ball away. I'm not sure whether he was booked in the end there. The referee was certainly keen to have a word with him. Anyway, it's a free kick for uh, Russia. And Krishanov will have that free kick. 29 years of age. As I mentioned earlier, he's got a twin brother who also played for Russia. Victor. Right footed, goes for the low bobbling shot. She's dealt with in the end by Patino. Paparotny with the blocked shot. On the sidelines, you just saw uh, Mikhail Likachev, the Russian coach. Always prowls his technical area like that. Remember he used to have a habit at the start of matches of uh, tipping a bottle of water on his head and then uh, just sweeping his hair back. Didn't see him do that today. Perhaps that particular uh, superstition. Went out the window with um, a defeat somewhere along the line. Corner to uh, Mexico. And the referee's not happy with where that corner was being taken from. So that's going to have to be retaken. Villa on that far side. Opposite to our commentary position. Chunky individual, 90 kilos in weight, the heaviest player actually in the Mexican squad. Meanwhile, Moscow is down, Benjamin Moscow. In the penalty area, a little bit of argy bargy and coming together. Moscow, Skarin, Torres, Paparotny, all uh, jostling for position. Oh, it's in the back of the net and it's a goal. Paparotny was complaining that uh, he'd been pushed. But Torres was the man who reacted first. He's put the ball in the back of the net while everyone else just stood there. And Mexico on the comeback trail, it's 5-2. Everything just seemed to stop. And the only player who didn't stop was Torres. Still seven minutes to go. Well, if Mexico get the next goal now, that will make it interesting. As I mentioned, it's a long way back from 5-0 down with uh, two periods gone. But, uh, well, they've made the right moves to start with anyway, haven't they? The men in green and white. And now Russia taking too long to take that corner, more than four seconds. So possession switches over to uh, Mexico. Is the momentum just switching as well, I wonder? Moscow getting away from uh, Nikonorov, the ball getting stuck in the sand. Gets the shot in, it's pushed away by Shushkov, that's brave goalkeeping. He was complaining, he got kicked in the hand, but in my commentary position I couldn't see it. A bit of urgency in the Mexican play now that we didn't see earlier on. 
almost as if they've just woken up. Better late than never, I suppose. Paparotny. Skarin. Forward to Nikonorov. Looking for the overhead. Moscow does enough to put him off. Villa. Policed by Skarin. Garden again. Happy to go back, not only past uh, Paparotny, but also all the way back to his goalkeeper, Shushkov. Crashing Inikov on this near side, just below our commentary position. Hope you're enjoying the coverage today. Here from Marassi Business Bay. The opening day of five of this Huawei Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2017. Let us know where you're watching in the world. Send us a tweet. Huawei Intercontinental Cup is the hashtag. It's Huawei H-U-A-W-E-I. Huawei Intercontinental Cup, all one word. Give us a shout and we'll give you a shout. I know we've got viewers from all over the world tune into this action either on television or uh, online crashing in a cough nice skill very good skill indeed from uh, Krishanov no end product though crashing in a cough once more sitting deep in this uh, third period Game of keep ball between Krasininikov and uh, Shushkov at the moment. Russia happy to uh, wind the clock down, just four minutes to go. The onus very much on Mexico. <laughs> so Krasininikov and Shushkov continue their uh, own personal little game. And now they invite uh, Makarov to have a game as well. And he goes back to Shushkov. All the time, the clock winding down, which is uh, very much the enemy of uh, Mexico. Eventually, Mexico get back possession. On this near side, Maldonado. Good skill from him. The overhead, oh, and good save. Shushkov, that was creeping in at the near post. Poured round for a corner, though, by the big Russian stopper, the 30-year-old. Maldonado denied, still in there battling. Frustration for him. And there'll be frustration for Mexico as well if they end up losing this match because they'll reflect on the fact that they simply didn't turn up for the first couple of periods. They've certainly turned up now though. Oh, and that's a corner. A bit of a breakdown in communication between uh, Angel Rodriguez and his goalkeeper Patino. He conceded some soft goals as well. Mexico in this match. Scar in back to his keeper, Shushkov. Next up, remember, it's Iran against Paraguay. Iran, the 2013 champions against uh, tournament debutants, Paraguay. Uruguay, second only to Brazil in terms of uh, South America, finished runners-up in the World Cup qualifier earlier this year to the almighty Brazilians. So that should be an interesting uh, battle, that one. Iran, very well schooled. All 12 of the players here were part of their World Cup squad and they finished third at the FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup in the Bahamas in April and May. So that really will be uh, a battle royal to finish day one here in Dubai. Just under 90 seconds to go then, so it looks as though Russia are going to get the victory they want. 
haven't got a goal in this uh, third and final period to show for their efforts. Konarov looks for Skarin, can't find him. That had to have hit Konarov's hand. It's not been given. Konarov's race down the sand and scores. Well, there should have been a handball against Nikonorov. It wasn't given. He took advantage, raced down the sand, gets his second. And uh, Russia get their sixth with just under a minute remaining. Spectacular scissor kick. In off the upright. No chance at all for Patino in the Mexican goal. So that's uh, a very nice way for Russia to put a full stop to this match. Nikonorov goes for a well-deserved sit-down. Two for him today. It's been an eventful match for him, actually. He's been booked as well. Six-two, then. So another eight goals in this match. 32 on day one so far, with one to come. That Iran-Paraguay match. Makarov and Krashininikov exchanging passes. Krashininikov bursting forward. Down he goes. 30 seconds remaining. Is there a consolation goal here for uh, Mexico? Not if uh, Shushkov can help it. Pushing that one away from Maldonado. Plenty of room all of a sudden for uh, Villa, but he couldn't take advantage. So the three times champions on the board with three points on the opening day of this uh, Huawei Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup 2017. Victory for Russia and a convincing one-two against a Mexican 